going on guys stepping old living keto alrighty um I'm going to the store again <laughs> always going to the store but I have to I have to get pads for the animals and uh I need cat for them so I have to go I have no choice um, I'm thinking I might go to the um the pet store because they have the bigger bags of the kitten food and see what they have there and go from there so if you haven't seen Pam's video already um, yeah the crime thing we're not going to be doing I guess um, it just it just doesn't work out they don't want to monetize the, the videos and also they don't want to it you know this I, I guess too much too much politics in it so we're not going to bother going that route you know but you know we could still I guess we could do lives about the um, our keto journey that seemed to work out pretty well with everybody and um, you know and, and uh, other things too like um, you know I could pretty much you know I can do it day by day. So so far, I'm into my third day right here of a carnivore diet, and it's you know it's it, it, I, I feel good already. Sorry about that, guys. I had to straighten that out. Um, I I feel good. Um, you know, um, my, my body's starting to uh, acclimate to the carnivore diet. Um, when you go to the bathroom, it seems like you know like uh, when when you when you're uh, when you loose looser when you go into the bathroom, it seems that that's that's a, a good sign that the water's kind of going through you. So you're not <clears throat> so you'll have like water and fat kind of content. So you, you know that you're on the right path in a sense. In that way, I just have to find a way to um, to help my digestive tract. Now I was watching a couple of guys on on the uh, that you know doctors. Because I, I technically like to work, you know, watch doctors, but there's a plenty, plenty of them out there, Doctor Berg, Doctor uh, Barry, and, and on and on and on. But um, I, I'll actually, if I have some good links, I'll probably link them in. But um, these guys, you know, they'll they'll give you okay if you did this, this might help this from that. So um, um one, I think it was Doctor Barry. Well, I'm not 100% sure, so I'm not going to quote. Um, said that maybe a little bit of vinegar in your water, the apple cider vinegar, but, you know, not crazy, just like a teaspoon or three into like a 16-ounce glass of water and then uh, or into your food or whatever just to help with the uh, probiotic part of it. But I got this... Um, uh, I got this cheese the other day. It's like a blue cheese, but it's not blue cheese. It's a goat blue cheese. It's a, what is it called? Ro Roquefort? Ro Roquefort? <laughs> um, it's a, I guess a French uh, version of a gorgonzola. And it tastes very good, actually. It's really good, but it's very expensive. And that's the, that's the thing. It's, you know, I, I don't want to spend a ton of money on, you know, just trying to regulate my, my, uh, my whole entire body here. So, but I could see this, you know, going pretty easy. So, on day one, right, I had, um, for breakfast, I had eggs and I had steak. And then, um, I believe that's when I had the, uh, for dinner, I had a steak, eggs, and that broke, a piece that I broke for the cheese. Um, yesterday, yesterday went a little wild. I, I had, um, let's see, I had steak for breakfast with eggs I had uh, 12 chicken wings with just salt and pepper on it and oh my goodness and what I did was I, I actually uh, I double fried them in the air fryer so if you don't know this trick here this this is worth your, 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 your time here if anything right is you, I cook them out for 20 minutes you usually cook them out for about 22 minutes or so right then you take them out take the wings out of your air fryer and then you hang them out for like 15 ish minutes you know and then you throw them back in for another eight and oh my goodness you want to talk about a crispy beautiful perfect wing i, I'm, I was actually there was a guy that uh 
that I've always watched over the years and everything. Uh, what was his name? Uh, uh, like professional home home cooking. Uh, I, I, what do you call it? I, I'll, I'll find his thing and I'll link it down too. But oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> His wings were incredible. And I just had salt and pepper on it. That's it. Nothing crazy. Salt and pepper. Um, what else did I do? Um, I had salmon for dinner. No, no, I'm sorry. It's some trout. It was a steelhead trout. And I only had a small piece. And what I did was when I cut up the, 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 the steelhead, I, I seasoned it and then I vacuum sucked it. And that seems to be the best way to do it because all you have to do then is throw some butter down in your pan and I fried it up fried it, fried it, fried it that, and then I threw that on a plate and then I threw that hot butter on top and I let it sit wow, boy did that come out really good I mean, incredibly good incredibly, incredibly good I was very happy with that um, and then uh, I think that was it I, th I don't think I've um, I had any more I'm trying to think if I had I did I, I yeah I did have another steak and I did have uh, I did have uh, two more eggs and I dropped a duck egg and that made me upset oh my goodness because duck eggs are, I love duck eggs but they're, they're so hard to find anymore for some reason um, I'm hoping it is, you know, once it starts really springing it up and everything, it's really getting nice over here. I'm hoping that there's going to be a lot more of these people off the side of the road that they they raise ducks. You know, I'm going to have to take a ride up Richmond over here and see if they have any up there. And, um, you know, hopefully I can find them from the farm. I'd rather get them from the farm than anything. You know, I don't like buying them in the store. But in the store, it's six of them for, you know, basically a dollar each, just about. So, and I mean, what well, isn't bad, you know, it is what it is, you know, but I used to pay that for a dozen of them. So, you know, I don't know if it's the times or, or whatever, but, you know, I, I think it's, you know, if, if nobody, if nobody's raising, if nobody's raising them there and they're not in an abundance, right, then that's when you have this particular situation that the stores might be able to take advantage of the situation, you know, they'll, they'll know, okay, well, nobody's raising them, so let's raise our price and gouge, which I, I think is a horrible, a horrible thing to do, you know, but then again, you never know, it could be the only farm around that has this eggs, and they have to go through, I, I guess if you sell them in the store, even though it's a natural food store, I guess you do have to go through some kind of a because it's being sold to the general public. It's not where you go into the farm and they don't really have to take the liability. You know, whereas, you know, the, if you're selling it to a store and then the store sells it to you and then something happens to you, then there's a liability. So that's what I mean by that. But I don't know anything about it, so I really can, you know, judge or say. <clears throat> but, you know, I'm just upset because I paid too much for, for eggs. How about that? <laughs> <laughs> so, speaking of which, so I only, I, I cracked the one egg, I was going to have two eggs this morning for breakfast, which I couldn't because I, um, and I'm not going to mix a, a, a duck egg and a chicken egg, that just doesn't work out, you know, so what I did was I, um, I, the other day I bought a brisket, a big brisket, and I, I cut the, I cut the flat out, I cut the flat in half, um, I cut off all, you know, most of the, you know, the big uh, clumps of fat, um, I ground some of the, on, on the cap portion of it, I ground it up into ground meat, and then, um, I cubed some already, and then uh, I cubed the rest later, I still have the fat, it's in the freezer, I'm gonna make tallow out of that, and then I, um, the, I, I cut the, like I said, I cut the flat in half, and then I saw sort of a recipe, um, that I, I was willing to try, that I wanted to try, actually, and it was, um, a crock pot type of deal but they put more seasoning on it than I wanted to because basically on a carnivore diet all you want to be doing is salt pepper period that's it you know and um, actually some some even say you know salt or even no salt at all just meat you know but um, I'm not there yet you know but I, I, 
could see it though, because you know, uh, well, I, I, I could see it because if, if I, I, I like to cook with the uh, with the butter, with salted butter. So if I if I cook the meat without salt or pepper or anything like that, use the butter, uh, salted butter, it may, you know, it, it'll take the taste of the butter. It does taste the, it take the taste of the butter. And it may take the taste of the salt as well, but I'd have to try all of that stuff. And I'm, I'm just getting into it, so it's going to take a while for me to see what I can feel comfortable with, you know, leaving out of the actual recipe of something. Um, I haven't been using any other recipes or anything like that where I have uh, millions of seasonings and everything like this, but I haven't been using them at all. Um, so... Uh, <clears throat> I salted pepper. I put it inside my uh, my ninja foodie. I uh, I cooked it on low for eight hours, right? Which I shouldn't have. I should have only cooked it for about five hours. And um, if I can go back, I would do that. I would cook it only for about five hours, uh, five or six hours. And then um, what I did was I cut a nice big slab off of it, and I cooked that for breakfast. So I. I kind of made like corned beef hash, but not like really, because even though it's brisket, <laughs> but that's what I did. I, I took the, um, I took that and I put it into a frying pan and I fried it up a, a little bit and then I, um, in butter and then I opened up the middle of it and I threw the duck egg in it. And then after that, I, uh, I waited until the whites were like kind of cooking, you know, like yeah, I had that like, uh, you know, the cooked look. You know, not all the way cooked through. You know, had some you know whites that were you know, uh, sl uh, how would you call it? Uh, that you know, the not not cooked. <laughs> you know, but then I just took the yolk and I went like this, and I I mixed it all into the uh, I mixed it all together into the meat with the you know everything just going through and all. And wow, that was fantastic. Now I gotta admit because. The reason I say five hours or so, or six hours, if you watch it or so, right, is because not that it came tough, it came actually the consistency was really, really good, right? But the issue was not the consistency of it, was the um, what was the, the doneness, you know? So it was very like well done, you know. And not that it doesn't taste good, you know. And if you like well done, I would cook it up for eight hours it's just fine you know now I didn't put any fluid or anything like that into the foodie I just took the piece of meat with salt and pepper on it I threw it in there and I turned it on and I have probably about three inches of juice from it so I could use that for you know it's you know it's beef stock pretty much you know it's like a, a um, that that's that's what I'm gonna use it for I'm probably gonna just drink it or something you know, I can use it to cook other stuff and uh, something, you know, or even Pam could use it on the keto diet that she's doing. So, <clears throat> it does work out. Um, not quite sure what I want to do for dinner yet. I do have the rest of the brisket. Um, what I did with the other portion of the brisket is then I put it into the, um, into the foodie grill that we have. So I turned that on to grill the grill up high, and I slapped it on there for 10 minutes, uh, uh, five minutes just about on each side, you know, when it tells you to flip it, you flip it pretty much, and that's it. You know, if you don't have that, you can put it right in your air fryer, it doesn't matter. You know, same thing, 10 minutes, flip it over. You know, just to get it nice crispy on the outside, which I really did, but I was not hungry, so I didn't bother trying it. And that's one of the things about the carnivore diet is that um, you're not always hungry. And I have to like start listening to my body to start seeing when it's telling me, hey, you really need to eat. You know, because right now I'm not hungry at all. You know, I, I feel like, you know, my energy is not exactly all the way there that I want to be at, right? But I do have a heightened energy level than say last week. And this is only three days in. So, uh, um, and really, we, we don't really, um, we never really went completely off of the keto diet. What we did 
was. We started incorporating back bad stuff like uh, donuts, bread, um, cannoli, you know, stupid little things like this that really super taste good, you know, you, they're good stuff, you know, it's, it tastes good, but all this stuff is just bad for you, you really can't do it. Now, if I can get myself to the point where I, I can do this consistently for a month and I enjoy it and I like it, right, I may, like I said, I'm, I'm going to start incorporating back into either a keto diet, right, but my keto diet would probably be a super strict keto diet, you know what I mean, like, I'm talking, you know, on the point, macros correct, you know, more, more protein, more fat, you know, a whole bunch of fat, and really, you know, at the level of perfection, the carnivore diet is easier than you think, because you're not counting macros, you're not, you know, it's basically meat, salt, pepper, water, period. You know, there's no uh, other, nothing that you really have to do. That's all you need. And you don't even need salt. You don't need any of those minerals. You don't. You, it, all the minerals and everything you have, as long as you get the, you know, you, I would say the prime cuts of meat would be your better cuts of meat. But, it, um, and they say grass-fed, grass-finished, and all of this. And, you know, if you can afford that, that's what it is. I can't afford that. You know, right now, like, um, <clears throat> I'm trying to pay off bills and everything like that and get myself down to a situation where I am completely 100% debt-free. So, if you, if you, you know, depending on what your finances are, you know, you get yourself into a situation where you're comfortable, but I even heard that if you ate hot dogs or something like that, you still, do, you can still do this diet, all right? I wouldn't, you know, because, uh, I think I'd, I'd rather eat a cheaper, a cheaper steak, say like a, like a, a chuck would probably be the cheapest steak I would want to eat because that's the only thing that actually has flavor, you know, and I, I, I'm a big, I'd rather eat a chuck eye steak than eat a ribeye any day, you know, if you live in Pennsylvania and you have a Wegmans around you, they'll have these, uh, or Massachusetts and everywhere else except for Maine. <laughs> wake up, <laughs> bring one here, anyway, they, uh, they package a, um, a roast, you know, a small roast, and they're usually like $12, $13, you know, $15, you know, they, you know, they, they vary in price, you know, but technically you'll get four steaks, four, four thumb-sized steaks, when I say thumb, I mean my thumb, right, so about one inch or so steaks or better out of this little thing. Now, uh, I, I loved it because I go in and uh, I guess nobody really understands what, you know, that, uh, you know, the cut of meat that a, a chuck eye is, you know, basically it's the tail end of a, of a Delmonico, you know, so it's like, uh, you're talking, you know, this is a high end piece of beef. You know, and it actually tastes super good, you know, and because of its small, you know, I, I, I like to call them mini ribeyes, right, because they're smaller, so a lot of people don't, you know, want to look to see that, you know, you know, they have no idea, they're like, what's this chuck eye, it's chuck, you know, and I like chuck, chuck's good stuff, you know, it's got the fat in it, but if you're a non-fat, uh, if you don't like fat in your meat, it, it's, chances are you really not like this diet at all because you, oh excuse me you definitely need the fat there's no two ways about it and the best way to get your fat is through the natural fat of the animal that's it you know so um yeah like i said though if, if you have a, a Wegmans around you uh, that's what i would do i've i found them already six seven dollars up to, you know between seven and twelve dollars right and, uh, and i would um if that was the case, I would just buy them all, you know what I mean, so like, um, if there was 20 of them, I'd buy all 20, I mean, wouldn't care, because it, it would actually work out for me in the end, you know, when you're thinking about it, because, um, two, if you go, if you go to Walmart, you get two of these steaks, at $10 a pound, okay, and, um, over there, think about it, you know, it has to be way less than that if it's, uh, I don't know what the pound per pound would be, but you're talking, yeah, I, I, I'm almost guaranteed you get three steaks out of it. So, 
three for seven dollars or you know two for twelve dollars or fourteen dollars you know so I mean you have to really look at the situation and what what you would think you know so that'd be up to you and all it's all personal preference and everything so so yeah I don't know about the maybe the brisket or maybe I'll just do a steak tonight you know and uh that's that's pretty much the way I want to do it and then uh we'll go from there so I mean I'm gonna I think I'm gonna do an update man there might you know uh, I don't know maybe uh maybe I can go through a whole journey of the stuff you know just like a quick uh, short or whatever of what I had for breakfast and what I have for dinner or whatever um and then throw it up here for you guys so then this way you can see where it's going you know and if I feel great that day I'll tell you I'm feeling great if not you know maybe I can tell you not feeling so good or maybe I need to take a new path or something like this but I am on top of you know I'm top of the game on here that I want to be with you know as far as Pam I, I don't I don't know what kind of a, a twist she wants to put on her channel you know I know I know she really doesn't want to talk about Jerry Ed too much anymore you know it's like a, it's it's like a hopeless cause you know what I mean it's like you know I mean, it's it's cool, you know, that, that you you know that you want to talk about it or anything like this, or you want to see, you know, what may become of it. You would think that hey, there'd be an epiphany of all of this and everything like that. But you know, as far as I'm concerned, it, it, it seems like you know it, it's it's all a pack of lies. And then you know now now you have uh, uh, Jim Jim is in defiant mode and he's talking about his wife and everything like this, but meantime, he's not coming clean with the cancer thing, you know, he goes on uh, uh, th that other channel over there, and um, spews his guts and everything like this, but meantime, nobody's called, still not called, nobody will call him out in person even about the whole thing, you know, what wanted you to say, you know, hey, you know, what about this cancer, is it true or false, you know, prove it, you know, I have you here right now, prove it, you know, so that that's what needs to happen now, but as far as I'm concerned, you know, it's just a broken record now, you know, just playing out and keep on going and going and going and going, you know, we don't have time for that, we really don't, so <clears throat> we'll just move this on in a different direction, you know, we'll, we'll do us, <laughs> uh, so, so, okay, well, I'm getting very close to the store. I took a different route. I took this scenic route, scenic long route. And, uh, yeah. So, and then this way I can talk to you. and don't have to worry about going through the actual city itself. I kind of, like, bypassed it. Went around this way. You know, even though the other way is, it's probably, uh, miles-wise, it's probably about four miles less, I bet. But, hey. Sometimes the stress and aggravation is, you know, it's better to go this way than uh, have all that stress and aggravation. So I, I really don't have to bother with it and everything like that. So next stop, BJ's, then Walmart. And then the, maybe I'll, I'll go to actually to the pet store first. And then, uh, then I'll go home. And then I'm going to upload this to you guys, okay? Well, thank you for stopping by the channel. Don't forget to subscribe, so subscribe if you haven't subscribed. Thank you to all my new subscribers. You are rock. I love it. Um, in the comments, like I said, you know, what, what do you think are some good ideas that you might have for the channel? And we, we always take our, we always take the suggestions seriously. So don't think that, you know, that even, even if you think that it's a silly idea, we may not think it's a silly idea, you know, just as long as it's, it's something that, you know, that you, you would want and that we were kind of into. You know, and if you don't know, you know, we've got covered a lot of topics between health um, and other things, you know, health, uh, trauma, Dollar Trees, halls, all different store halls, various different diets, 21 day fix, the uh, um, keto diet and now the carnivore diet. So, I mean, we kind of, you know, been all over the place with, with this and everything like that. Um, I'm, I'm into fitness, but I haven't been to the uh, to the gym in like forever, so I really can't tell you, you know, like a, a fitness channel or something of that.
that nature. And besides, at work, I probably put in about, you know, 12 to 21 miles a day walking back and forth to different machines to, you know, uh, troubleshoot and fix problems. So, <clears throat> and, uh, yeah, so that, that's, that's pretty much it. You know, except for now that I've been on a uh, break here from work. <laughs> So, I'm, I'm all good there. So, alright. Well, thank you for stopping by. You have a wonderful day.